Oh hi there, my name is Beth and this is the story of how I renovated my 1904 Dutch sailing barge. This week we're going on a road trip. Well it's a rainy day so it's probably a good day for a road trip. So today we're going to drive up to near Birmingham to pick up the inverter batteries and all of the kind of electrical bits that we need to get on board. Come on in bed. So now we've got the um, we've got the multi plus and um, that's the um, the inverter and battery manager and that kind of thing. Uh, we've got an isolation transformer which separates the boat from the shore, uh, mains power, and uh, and then I've got uh, six batteries and the control panel and the remote and all that kind of stuff. So um, so yeah, right. Let's go back to London. We're nearly back to London. Well, we've got a few more miles to go and thought we'd stop for uh, a little bit of a pit stop. This uh, service station's got a uh, Marks and Spencers and it's got a Greg's. So we're gonna go and get a vegan sausage roll and some sweets from Marks and Spencers. So it's the next day and we're back again and we've brought back with us all of the batteries, the, uh, the multi plus, uh, the inverter really, and, um, and the isolation transformer and, uh, and some other bits and bobs. So that's kind of starting this uh, next kind of part of the, uh, of the project. Yeah, well, you know, progress. So some time ago now, maybe uh, beginning of the year, or well, at least in springtime anyway, um, I ordered um, a few things from, uh, from LoomTech. And that was uh, Paul who came and, uh, and also did the wiring loom for the boat, the 24 volt wiring loom. Um, and that's in this, this video, if you want to go and watch installing that. 
Um, so I bought uh, from him a, a Victron inverter, a multi-plus system, um, and that is the component that um, it's, uh, it does a few things, but uh, principally it's my inverter, which means that it changes battery power. So I've got some uh, domestic battery bank here, 24 volt battery power, into 240 volt um, AC. So, um, so that means that I can, uh, I can run uh, 240 volt um, uh, appliances, uh, via through the inverter, and um, and then um, and also I can run my 24 volt system uh, from the batteries as well. So um, so I bought the inverter. That's the thing that that does the uh, the kind of battery management. So um, the uh, the shore power cable will connect to the boat, and that will go through this isolation transformer, and that separates it physically from the from the the land, um, and it means that uh, that the the boat is completely separate circuit. It's air gapped between the two, and that's much safer, um, and also prevents um, the galvanic corrosion that happens on boats. So it goes through a transformer, and then it goes into the um, uh, well, simply goes into the uh, the inverter. Um, but of course, I need to design all of the circuits around this because it needs to go through a breaker and probably a switch and everything as well. So, um, so I got the isolation transformer. I've got the uh, the um, the inverter, and I've got all the batteries. Um, but I need to buy a bunch of other things to actually get all of that wired in. So these include the cables that go sort of in the system to wire it all together. Um, I need to get my shoreline um, and the shoreline cable to make that up. A new new cable that supports 32 amps. Um, and um, uh, yeah, I need to put put that together, and then from the from the inside on the inside of the boat, if you like, I need that uh, that shore power socket to be wired into the inverter. I need all the batteries wired together, and um, so I need to buy all of those kind of components, the wire, as I say, uh, but also things like the bus bars and things like that. So I've started making a go at. Uh, a designing the uh, circuit diagram for that system, uh, which is this one. Um, and uh, at the moment, the things that I need to work out is I need to work out actually the, the weights of the cables and the sizes of the fuses, that kind of thing. So, um, so I think um, it, it's all, it all depends ostensibly about uh, how much power I want to draw from the battery. Um, so on board, I will have a macerated toilet, which I think is 15 amps, and I'll have a series of pumps and if I run all of those together, it's not a huge amount of power, but um, the, the, I want to um, rate the system uh, with enough to, uh, to draw much more power. Um, I might want to put more batteries in the, uh, in the, in the array, um, in the domestic bank uh, at some point, and I might want to draw more power. So it makes sense to, to rate it sort of you know, higher. So that means the, the battery cables, the, there'll be cables coming from the batteries and wiring them all together they will go into the uh, into uh, what's called a bus or bus bar um, and then they will be split into uh, various places um, now uh, the 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 cables that come in they all need to go through fuses so there's lots of parts of this system that can that can you know um, fail intentionally uh, and it can blow the fuse and it can make the system safe and I also need to put things through breakers as well so um, so the shore power that's coming in that's the AC power and that will come in through the socket um, through the isolation transformer uh, through a breaker through a switch and into the multi plus so it means that um, that I'll have um, 240 volt or AC uh, even when I'm disconnected from the shoreline um, and, uh, and it means that I can uh, run all my, all my regular appliances when I'm sailing around. Um, but also it means I can plug it in and charge up the, uh, the batteries and power the systems if I want to. Uh, and also, as I say, I'm going to fit some a solar array on a Bimini up here, but that's probably going to be in the summer. Um, so that'll help when I'm, I'm more off grid. Um, the, of course, I mentioned, I think, last week that um, the benefit of this is that when I get this inverter in, it's essentially an uninterruptible power supply. So it means that if the shoreline goes, uh, or if we have a brownout or a power cut, uh, which we're predicted to have some through the winter, it means that my, ba my boat will just switch automatically onto battery power and it will keep on running all the systems. And that's really important for the central heating system, which is in the engine room, because it doesn't like to lose its power supply um, just you know, uh, as if the rug was pulled out, uh, out from underneath it. It needs to have power, it needs to shut down properly or it could damage it. So, um, so yeah, so that's the, that's the plan. So the next things we're doing <coughs> is we are, um, we're going to get the mast raised. And to that end, I've bought um, these two sheave blocks. So that's a separate sheave block, <coughs> or single sheave block. 
and this is a double. <clears throat> so these can lift uh, one and a half tons each. So what I'm going to do with those is that these are going to be, or the double is going to be attached on the, the shear legs on the, for the mast raising, and the single is going to be attached on the deck. So I've just ordered as well some cable as well. It's been, a, it's been an absolute nightmare trying to find this cable. I've been on the, on the phone to, you know, kind of lifting companies and stuff. Uh, and it's, uh, or in the phone, or on the internet. And it's been a nightmare. So, but I have found a company that I found some 10 mil steel rope, galvanized steel rope, and that will lift sort of, you know, 1.2, 1.3 tons. So it's well enough. So that's coming soon, maybe even coming tomorrow. Um, which means that I will be able to make those cables up and get the mast raised because the main reason is that I'd like the mast to be raised for, um, for Christmas and I'd like to get the Christmas lights up there now. So that'll be a really good thing. So as I mentioned, I, I think before, I've got those kind of three strands to the project at the moment. I've got the floors, I've got the raising mast and I've got the electrics. So the electrics are really uh, like, um, my head is really in that now as well. Um, so, uh, so I'm going to, I'm going to put the floors on hold just for now. Um, and I'm going to, uh, to try and get the mast raised and also I'm going to focus on the electrical system. So I think the electrical system is going to be my project over Christmas, over the Christmas period, because I would really like to get that commissioned and running as um, soon as possible. Anyway, that's a lot of me talking. Thanks again for watching and thanks for subscribing. It, again, it's really, it's really touched me that, uh, that, that we've, uh, we've made a thousand subscribers and it's such a lovely little community that we've got here. And I really love reading all of your messages and, uh, and, uh, and I love your, your advice as well. It's all really helpful. And um, this project, I've put this project together. This isn't me doing this boat. This is everyone's ideas that I've ever talked to, which is in my brain and just uh, rattling around. And then, some, then a boat comes out the other end. But um, so again, your advice is, uh, and your experience is really helpful. And, um, and yeah, and, and I just like, I love hearing from you as well. Anyway, surely there'll be something next week and uh, I'll see you then.